promising you this for a long time, I'm going to deliver it. Uh, first, uh, uh, can I just say I really like that report that uh, you commissioned. It has all sorts of interesting stuff in it, like, for example, the uh, consultants seem to think the bus system would be a great idea for business, <coughs> at least kind of fits into the rail idea. But uh, what this is about is I've been promising for months and months a letter about uh, the private prison which we know because of the DPT is what Project XL is. And if you know, turn that, that's what the newspaper said. So I have here a letter, um, this, this is the sign copy, here, I have the sign copy. And there's not many signatures because it hasn't had much time to sign, other people may sign as time goes on. Basically what it's about is, um, I'll just read it, it's short. In the Board of Directors of the Dodos and Miles County Industrial Authority, the case against the private prison in Miles County, Georgia. We, the undersigned, are opposed to a private prison in Miles County, Georgia. A private prison would not increase employment in Miles County. It would not even save the state money. It would have high risk of closing after or even before it opened because of escapes and inmate disturbances. And most importantly, because the state and federal governments can no longer afford to incarcerate so many people. That would leave us in the state holding the bag for any investment in building it. Outsourcing public justice for private profit and taxpayer expense is not only bad business, we the taxpayers can afford to pay for it while public education is under increasing budgetary pressure. As members of the local community, we do not wish to live in a private prison colony with the attendant risk of inmate violence and escape, and the accompanying public opprobrium that will drive away the knowledge-based workers we claim to be trying to attract. Finally, public justice should not be a matter of private profit. Please find the tax documentation to all these points sincerely signed by at least several people. Uh, some of these things may sound surprising, uh, that, particularly that first point about private prison would not increase employment. Turns out there's a study in New York State, um, which is the first thing mentioned in here, where they compared um, rural counties with private prisons and without private prisons, and they found in good times and bad times and times of recovery, unemployment per capita was no different. So it didn't actually improve employment. That may seem strange, but it's partly because people who work at these things don't like to live in the same county. So there's a number of other points. All, all these points that I mentioned are supported in the letter. I ask you to read it and see what you think. I don't claim to know all the answers, but having looked at this subject for a long time, there may be some things in here that I've run across that you might not have. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Porter.